Hi guys, today we're gonna have a coastal walk from Baskevoda to Brella, Croatia. It's quite warm today guys, it's 37 degrees Celsius. Guys, that say uh, even it's burning hot here in Croatia in summertime, still you can walk in their coastal from one place to another because they have a nice bay walk or promenade with a lot of trees shades from the sun as you can see in my video. If you are not into adventure activities around Brella and Baskavoda, then simply walking by the sea will do just fine. The same trails you would usually walk can be explored by bike too. You can use these walking trails to reach nearby um, Brella and other places of Makarska Riviera. It's perfect for the evening and morning walk. If you choose to explore these trails by bike, you can get even farther. There are a few options to rent a bike around Brella and Baskavoda, so choose one and explore around. Now we are here in Brella, guys. It's just 2 kilometers walk from Baskavoda. Brilla Beach is a world-class beach, certainly one of Croatia's best beaches. And uh, Brilla is more than just one beach. It's actually a link beaches that goes on for 6 kilometers. Brilla is one of the most famous places on the Riviera and has more than 100 years of tourism tradition. The reason why people choose to spend their holiday in Brella are beautiful nature and perfect beaches accompanied by a crystal clear and warm Adriatic Sea. Brella was first mentioned in the old books under the name Biroilia in the 10th century. They were fortified city of Pagania, the local principality of that time. Another cool fact that uh, Brilla is famous because of the cherry sort Marasca, and this sort is considered to be one of the best Dalmatian cherry sorts out there. The legend about the sunken city of Pellegrin, which was once a large and beautiful city that sank after it was cursed. According to the legend, a chariot with the prince and princess emerged from the sea each year at midnight on Christmas night.
any other tourist place in Croatia, Bredla is most visited during the hot summer months of July and August. These are the hottest and the driest months of the whole year and they are first choice for anybody who wants to enjoy just the sun and sea. July and August are also the most crowded months of the year and all the beaches are almost full. lies midway between Split and Bakarska, and it's only about 45 kilometers from either town. It's an easy day trip from Split or Makarska if you have a car. Wow, look at this guys, now we are in the most popular landmarks in Brella. It's the famous Brella stone, that's the one in front. A small island with pine tree on it. If you google the term Brella, you'll see a lot of images of Brella stone which is located near the main Ponterata beach. And while we're at this beach, let's say that Forbes put this beach on the top 10 list of the most beautiful beaches around the world. It tells enough about how beautiful Brella is. stretch out from either side of Brella town, an appealing cluster of old and new houses. It's a relaxed town where residents hang out in one of the casual cafes or restaurants along the sea. The longest and most developed beaches lie northwest of the town center and are linked by the pedestrian promenade. The farther you go, the smaller the cove and the crowds. There are beach showers and it's possible to rent the sun beds and parasol in most of the beaches.
thing that we really like in this walk guys for today are the beautiful nature views you can see around no need for us to plan where we're gonna eat for lunch it's because they have a lot of local restaurants cafes and bars beside the promenade this place is a combination of beautiful nature and luxury they build this place in a really nice way walking, sun tanning, swimming for today guys, now we can enjoy the sunset with some foods and wine. Thank you for walking with us today guys, hope you like it, see you all tomorrow, bye!